don't know no nigga like me. All right, guys. Uh, Fuller coming to you with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to up like the video. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe to the page as well, so you can keep in the loop with what we got going on. And you know, we're gonna have some more things going on very soon. So please keep in touch. And let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see on the channel because at the end of the day as I said before this channel is a channel you know of course it's, it's my channel you know and the views and the, the views and opinions expressed on this channel are my opinions and views but at the same time I want y'all to benefit from it you know what I mean? I don't want y'all to just like be on this channel and just be aimlessly like just like not like you know not inspired or anything like that. But anyhow, man, th this uh, there was an article that I came across my Facebook page, and it happened recently with a Clippers player. His name is Patrick Patterson, and, you know, Patrick Patterson, he's a swirler. He's in an interracial relationship right now, and I think he has kids by the woman as well. Now, what happened is that, you know, I think there was like a little bit of back and forth, some backlash between him and a, a, a fan, basically. You know, because the fam was saying, you know, how how dare you, like, you know, betray your people and that, you know, if you were working at Walmart, this woman that you're with wouldn't even want anything to do with you. Right? And so what happened is that he referred to black women as bulldogs. You know what I mean? And the thing is, he, he apologized and he retracted his statement, you know, but the word, my, my thing is like the words already came out and there really isn't no like going back from that, you know what I mean? Like if the words already came out, perhaps they came out at the heat of the moment. I understand that, but you know, it was already kind of like the damage was already kind of done by that point, you know, by saying those things. Now, I'm just going to give my views and opinions on the whole situation. Now, first and foremost, we're, whether we like it or not, we're living in an age where, you know, swirling interracial relationships are being pushed down our throats. You know, we see it on the media outlets, we see it, it's just subconsciously being like bombarded upon us, like whether it be through these basketball players or through different athletes who think that, you know, once they, you know, hit a certain level of success, this is what they have to do. And this is nothing new. This has been going on for quite some time now, you know, that we, we see this. Now, you have to understand something, too. You rarely see in the media, you know, a stable, 
a, a, a loving black couple. And, you know, even with LeBron, you know, you wouldn't, you would never guess that LeBron, honestly, if you didn't know nothing about LeBron, you wouldn't even think that LeBron is married or anything like that. Because, I mean, they rarely show him with him and his wife. Like, because, you know, his wife happens to be black. You know? And so, this happens for a reason. You know what I mean? And I think this Patrick Patterson guy is just like a... a a victim of social engineering, you know, not all of it is his fault, you know, because players before him have been doing the same thing, you know, it's not just him who has been doing it, it's a lot of players who have been doing it, you know, and so, what what also needs to be said, though, is that people are going to love who they're going to want to love, but at the same time, you just have to make sure that it is love. You know, I mean, and if you're going to love who you're going to love and they're going to be out of your group, out of your ethnic group, then don't bash your ethnic group based on the person you love. You know what I mean? I I just believe that he could have went about it in a different way, you know? Uh because that's one thing I find often is that when you deal with these swirlers and it's just not only on the men's side, it's on the women's side too, that, you know, they'll bash like each other. You know, if someone like has, if, if someone has a, uh, a white woman, you know, a black dude who has a white woman, you'll end up hearing him bash black women you know, throw him under the bus and things like that when that's not even necessary. He can just live his life and move on and not even think about, you know, black women and just keep uh, moving forward. And the same thing goes for, like, uh, uh, black women who are now, like, really affiliated and fixated on dating white men. It's the same thing. Like, they're, they're you know, they have the nerve to, like, really, you know, bash uh black dudes and throw them under the bus you know and 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 this is what the people they're dating want to see you know this is what this is uh what we call a defense mechanism to you know keep things from happening you know keep positive things from happening and that's why i'm just like wondering to myself why others think that like by by swirling that the race relations are going to get better when they're probably going to even get worse due to the simple fact that you know everybody is trying to take from someone else's plate and the the fact of the matter is is that you know I can only speak from my opinion, and I'm just going to give my opinion. I come from a place in Africa where you do have quite a few mulattoes or mestizos, whatever you want to call them, you know, but my family itself is black African, okay? So... What I'm trying to get at is that even with being mestizo, it didn't lead to social mobility or social progression. It still kept us in the same place, you know, and what I mean by us, I mean by us Africans as a whole. It kept us marginalized. It kept us exploited. Even if some of us did have that Portuguese blood. And I, I, I hate to say it. You know, I, I need to do the history even more. But I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say that, you know, the blood that the Portuguese did 
you know, passed down through generations. I don't think it was something fun that, you know, they, that the, the Africans they had wanted to partake in. That's just my personal opinion, you know. And so I say that to say that, you know, part of it is his fault for uttering the words, but another part of it is not his fault because social engineering is a real thing. I mean, take a look at the billboards, you know. Um, when you look at the billboards of like models and things like that, you see that the, the, the billboards are usually a black woman with a white man. So it's just being subconsciously put into your head. Look at the movies that are coming out. You know, who who are like the the roles in which you see you see usually sometimes you see like a black a black um woman with like a white man as the uh, the protagonist or how they call it. Uh, if you look at, if you look at, um, there was something else. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, a couple of sitcoms. There was that one sitcom. I don't know if it's still out. I mean, I, ne- I never really, you know, paid it no mind anyway. But there was that sitcom where it was... It, it was um, where it was like a Nigerian nurse and there was this uh, Caucasian guy that she fell with, fell in love with. Even look at reality TV, for example, 90 Day Fiance. They have, the, the way they do it, they kind of do it slickly though they do it in a slick way you know you have this nigerian dude named michael which i wish he would just get the hell out but you know he don't got no sense because the need for papers is real you have this dude named michael who's young and who's in the prime of his life dating uh uh or married to a 50 year old 50 year old woman who's way past her prime and who I I don't see what he sees in her. You know, I, I really don't see it, you know, but that's just him. I guess he sees Visa in her, you know. But then on the flip side, you'll have a Caucasian dude with the opposite. You'll have him with a young Nigerian girl. I think in that in that in the series right now, that's occurring. So these comments by Patrick Patterson, although they were harsh and they shouldn't have been said, it's kind of, this is where we're at right now, you know, and this is going to continue on for the simple fact that it's it's social engineering again, you know, this is being social engineered to us, but I'm blessed that, you know, that I was given like a strong mind and I, you know, I, I'm not going to fall for the gas, you know, um, you know, I just try to like really just tap into those who really kept it solid, you know, and, and, and did their thing like, you know, you have to be strong willed like if you're going to be in a relationship like with another person who and i'm not pushing swirling but i'm just giving an example if you're going to be in a relationship with someone who's who is like from that side of the fence you have to be really strong willed not to get lost in the sauce now i'll give you an example of who didn't get lost in the sauce We had a guy named, um, you know, who's actually, you know, 
it's crazy because he's actually like like a great 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 uncle you know down the line but we had a guy by the name of shake on to joke and shake on to joke he was he was basically a, one of the best thinkers that africa ever had you know he refuted the, and that's another video in itself for those of those for those of you guys who are interested but uh shake on to joke he actually uh, refuted the notion that ancient Egyptians were black or I mean excuse me were white or Caucasian or whatever you want to call it he refuted that and he did it through like an invention in which he made that would would with you know measure the amount of melanin in the mummies and you know he had five PhDs I believe you know so he was just a genius now the thing is though his wife was a french woman a caucasian french woman but that did not stop him from putting his foot on the necks of these you know pseudoscience people or stop him from trying to get to or, or stop him from trying to better the uh his continent you know and better the country of senegal now what i noticed now because he was back in the day what I noticed is that's that's been died down that's been watered down and so when guys do get like a woman of uh, you know a different background they just like pretty much are skinning and grinning you know without like putting their putting the foot on the gas and trying to like get get some 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 grassroots going or something like that but as the final word for Patrick Patterson, you know, just chill out, man. You don't even got to, like, mention black women anymore. You're not even with a black woman. So why even mention a black woman? If someone were, and I can't tell a, a dude how to act, but if someone has something against you, uh, saying having a, the, the partner you have, I mean, all you have to do is just say to you your way and to me my way and, that, and leave it at that. And then that way you won't have these problems, you know, or this backlash. But anyhow, man, that's all I got for now. Fool is signing out. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Good job. There's one more thing I wanted to say about this, this issue. You know, like, one thing I do see on social media a lot is I see a lot of, like, sometimes, like, you see, like, like dudes, they refer to their women as like black goddesses and like black queens and stuff like that. And like me myself, like I don't even refer myself to a king. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm like a, I, I refer myself to basically like a, you know what I mean? Like a, a foot soldier. You know. Uh, and so for me, I don't, I don't really gel with that whole thing, like. You know, I, I think that instead of, like, calling your woman a queen or, like, calling your woman a goddess or calling black women or praising black women, you should show them that more. You know, your actions speak louder instead of just using these words. And, you know, like, for example, I'm already, I don't want to make that nigga famous than he already is, but... We've heard polite jargon with like black women and stuff like that. And, you know, black woman is God. We've heard a lot of these like hotep fools say that black woman is God and things like that. But I mean, their actions speak otherwise, you know, so those words really mean nothing. Like, you you know, you see those guys talking about black women is God, but then like a, a, a couple of minutes later, they're they're with uh they're with a becky you know what i mean or they're like just basically degrading a black woman by saying things like oh you know me and my girl we have twerk offs and all this other like jargon man so that's why like me as i said i said it before and i'll say it again i'm an anomaly when it comes to these when it comes to like pro-black 
or would, let me just say this, when it comes to would be pro-black, when it comes to would be pan-African, when it comes to all would be hoteps, when it comes to all these groups, I'm a non, I'm an anomaly. I'm basically a total anomaly because as a matter of fact, most of them don't like me because of what I have to say and how I move. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, demonstrations speak louder than you just talking, talking, talking about these things. You feel me? So that's all I wanted to add to this uh, video about Patrick Patterson, man. Uh, so y'all, you know, just stay tuned. We got a lot of great stuff coming to the channel. And I want y'all to be a part of it. I want, as I say, I want to collab with people. I want to like, you know, if you're in the LA area, let's, let's, let's gel. Let's try to meet up. Let's, let's see what we can do if we put our heads together. You know what I mean? Let's see if we can get a collaboration going that would like basically, you know, propel both of our platforms, propel both of our brands, you know, because at the end of the day, that's, that's the goal, right? And doing it in an honest manner. But anyway, full of signing out. Inshallah.